Zoo Conservation Programs London Zoo Advertisement The zoo's recent ad made big claims about saving animals, but it might not be entirely true. People are starting to question if zoos really help animals like they say. Origin of Zoos Zoos were first made for fun, like going to an amusement park. About 30 years ago, they started saying they were also helping animals. World Zoo Conservation Strategy, WCS. In 1993, a plan was made to help zoos save endangered animals. It's hopeful but might not be realistic. They think there are 10,000 zoos, but there might be more. Some people doubt if all the zoos they picked are really good enough. Flaws in WCS. The plan believes in 1,000 zoos a lot, but not everyone thinks they're all great. Some zoos might not be checked very well. Even big groups of zoos might have some bad members. Potential for conservation. If zoos work together, they could help save lots of animals. Some people are very hopeful about this, but it's not easy. So far, only a few animals have been saved by zoos and it's slow progress. This helps you understand the main points about zoos and conservation without getting too complicated. Here's a simple mind map to help understand the text. London Zoo Advertisement Distorted Reality Skepticism Towards Advertisement Claims Origin of Zoos Initially for Entertainment Shift Towards Conservation 30 Years Ago World Zoo Conservation Strategy WCS Unrealistic Optimism Underestimation of Zoos Quality of Zoos Questioned Flaws in WCS Blind Faith in Core Zoos Lack of careful examination. Doubtful members and associations. Potential for conservation. Collaboration among zoos. Colin Tudge's optimistic view. Slow progress and limited success in captive breeding programs. This mind map simplifies the main points discussed in the text, providing a visual overview of the arguments presented.